Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to use software called Wrap in order to draw warp bones and tissues from one source character to another for Ziva Dynamics. This software allows us to create same topology as target characters using few simple nodes. Usually in studios where tissue simulation is common practice, they have similar vertex ID across all characters in the same category. For example, biped, quadruped, and so on. But sometimes even in studios I have seen this method is being used. And of course it's beneficial for individual use where you don't have an obvious pipeline. So let's get started. So in order to do that, here is the wrap software. And we need to export the OBJ of Mr. X, Mr. King, and your target character. So in this case it's O. So once the software is open, you can simply load geometry and you can name that. the tissue layer okay. the colors of the name and click on which now um, we have to create new point pairs so let's say if we have this finger matching with this index finger here we have to create a point on this index finger and we have to put another point on O approximately to the similar position so when we wrap it, the point of Mr. A snaps to the house pair point A. So for that, we need uh, another um, node. You can just uh, type the node. I can just, you can press tab and it will open up this menu. And Click mouse, left click and drag, kind of idea. Same over here. And then here in the view editor, you can see we have a two side by side that um, shows the target. And you can do the sync view. So when you move one um, character, the other camera moves with it. Or if there is a huge um, size gap, you can double left click and do it manually. So what you need to do is I'll just show you few points so here you can see the first one is zero and when you click here it will create a zero here so one thing to be careful here when you put the number it should be same number on the both mesh so for example if you have number one here if you 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 shouldn't be having number one on the target mesh somewhere here because when we add the wrap on top of it this number one will try to push and stay as close to the target's number one point. So we should avoid that. You can continue to do this. And the more points you add, it will give you better result. And um, you can always import and export the points. So let's say if you're using the same sort character, you don't need to always put the points again and again. You can just export that uh, data out and then import it when you work on your next character. Or if you if there is a change in your topology, you can always create. Um, you can always come back here and import rather than clicking on and creating a whole bunch of bosses again. So I did the same thing and uh, I have created um, all the hair points before. So I will quickly just go here and load them up which will save a lot of time. So for Hulk, I'll just click on Hulk and import. So as you can see, all the points are loaded here correctly. And same thing with Mr. Ping, I'll go here, load Mr. Ping and import. So as you can see, the numbers are pretty much close as it should be. So you can see 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. And you can just confirm it with the different body parts just to double check that everything is matching. And in this case it is 
So the next step we can do is we can add another node here, which is a widget alignment, which will align the Mr. Ink with, it's, it's trying to align Mr. Ink with the Hulk and it will try to align his as close as possible. So let's do that. And in the widget alignment, we can click on match scale. So it's saying it's missing the uh, point pairs. So we have to add the point pairs here. And now if you can just toggle that light bulb so the geometry will hide the visibility. So it's easy to read. And now you can see it's created, it's matched the scale as much as possible here. So Mr. Ink's body is similar scale to the Hulk's body, which is great, which will make the wrapping a bit easier. So now what we can do is we can add wrap, wrapping, and we can just add the first one. If you put your cursor here, it will say floating geometry. The second one is fixed geometry. So the floating means the one that we want um, to be morphed to the other fixed geometry, which in our case is Hulk, and floating one is Mr. Ink. So in, we can just create connect widget alignment here and to the fixed geometry, we can just click and connect wrapping. And here is the point correspondence. So if you see, there is some pattern, like color pattern here, which will, like if, if you use it more frequently, you'll get to know like um, uh, the yellow, yellow one should be your point. And this one is um, pink one, which is if sometimes you want to um, disregard some of the polygons that you don't want to morph, you can add them here. You to do in order to do that you can simply just create select polygons which will allow you to select polygon on on the object and once you select them um, you can go to visual editor and you can select and then draw and if you put that node here all of this selected polygons won't morph it will just stay as it is so but we don't want it in this process so i'm just going to delete the node and now if you can see here if we wrap we can just um, we can just leave all the settings as it is and click on compute so the more points you have it will take a longer time to compute but at the same time it will give you more accuracy so it might take a um, little bit of time according to your point pairs but if you can see here, now it's trying to adjust all the points and pushing those points towards the um, towards our Hulk's body. So I'll just let let it do its thing. I made a mistake here and I have to I forgot to add the point correspondence here. Okay. Now it should be good. So now you can see the numbers are getting closer and closer. So 155 on Mr. Ink is no, 115 on Mr. Ink is getting closer to 115 on Hulk and so on. So just with a little bit of time we will see what the end result will be. So as you can see, if I just untick here, and tick here, so you can see the the result, and it's pretty much um, all the geometry uh, and all Mr. King's mesh works really well, except the the toes here. But um, 
I'm not super concerned about it because we are not going to work any bones or tissues uh, on the toes. So the next step is we have to uh, still sculpt a little bit. So the more finer um, output we give, the more accurate result we will get when we warp bones and tissues and all the other data from Mr. Ink to our target character. So I'll add a brush tool here. And I want output of wrapping as an input geometry. And here you can see the reference. So you can add the reference geometry. So in my case, I will add a hulk. And um, you can then start wrapping. And there's a really cool um, tool here, which says project. So it will project your source geometry into the target geometry. So if you see any like any um, points that we missed, and if any points are not that accurately uh, wrapped, we can just select. We can just click and create that, as you can see here. And then I'll just just wait it just now. And once you are actually the the wrap is not not that bad. Uh, but once you're happy with it, you can just relax the projection. So all your um, vertex will be at the similar position, but um, you can see it's more like relaxed position. So it's just same as uh, using a sculpt deformer, but more in a like projector way. not much concern about the small parts or even face because we we know that we don't have any bones or tissues in this case I think this should be okay for demonstration purpose once it's done you can click accept and it will accept that changes you can reset as well if you go too far and don't like the end result. And now the next one I would like to uh, add to fine tune our um, output. I would like to add fixed symmetry. So what it will do is it will fix the symmetry because sometimes when we use the brush and wrap and other tools, the symmetry might get messed up. So if I have to take that and just see the brush result. I might just update that too. And you can see here, you can click on the preserve volume. So it will preserve the volume, but at the same time, it will fix the symmetry as well. So if I have to do this, you can see the slight different pattern is getting closer. So what we can do now, we can do another um, prep, which will where we put the fixed symmetry and put it as a floating geometry and same we can put the hull here and pair points as we used last time so now what it will do is it will be the same uh, fixed asymmetry but also um, it will wrap again so it will all those points that are a bit offset it will um, get closer to the point on the target mesh so once again we can go to visual editor and click on compute Been done, and not too bad. So if I have to go here and select this, and click on here, as you can see, the result now the all the offset is gone, and our geometry is matching with the hull. But again, um, there are a little bit of um, smoothness we will require. So what we can do is we can add another brush tool. With this brush, we can do the same. We can get the wrapping result and 
the hub this is the projector geometry and in the visual editor we can just relax the projection and we can just use the strands of it on accept again I will I would like to use the final symmetry so I can get the perfect symmetry I am going to untick and untick the result just tick here you can see the symmetry is much much cleaner now and I think this should be good enough for us to export and use it as our target mesh for Ziva Dynamics 4. So in order to um, export the OBJ, we have to create the save geometry node. So we can save the save geo, then we can connect the fixed symmetry to the save geometry, and then give it a name. Just go here, and say result 06. Click on compute current frame and it will compute the current frame. We don't have any animation, otherwise, we have to compute the whole frame range. But just click here and it saves the file. So now, if I import that mesh from map, okay, we can see that this is matching with our hub geometry. And we just do a freeze transform and create the Data plan shape. Deform plan shape. We can see it's blending perfectly. So this is what we need in order for warp to work. The blend shapeable, two blend shapeable meshes. So let's delete that for now and I just hide this and hide these two geometries here for now see the bones so in order to perform the work we need a we need a source and we need a target so let me just hide these two and select them source and target so we can select all the meshes here and then we form the work so as you can see if I just unhide them you can see the Ziva warping has done such a good job of creating the warp. We still might need to adjust some things, but at least it will give you a starting point. And same way you can warp the tissue and rig and so on. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you.